Hey, Rich Berto from the North Carolina Zoo again, and I'm here answering your questions about gorillas and rhinos. This is not a gorilla, but there are four different kinds of gorillas. Cross River gorillas, Grower's gorillas, Western lowland gorillas, and mountain gorillas. It depends on the subspecies, but the numbers of gorillas in the wild range from over 100,000 Western lowland gorillas to only a few hundred Cross River gorillas. When gorillas here at the zoo get injured or are sick, we have a whole veterinary team and an entire animal hospital that helps them get better again. Uh, a gorilla could probably turn over a very small car, but rhinos can flip over a whole Jeep very easily. Gorilla vision is actually almost identical to human vision, and that's important because gorillas need to be able to tell different colors of different fruits and leaves so that they can know what to eat. Silverback gorillas breed with all the females in, their, in the group that the hate lives in, and all the offspring tend to be the offspring of the silverback. The difference between black and white rhinos has to do mostly with their lip. White rhinos have a flat lip that they use for browsing off the ground, and black rhinos have a pointed lip that works almost like a finger that they use for eating off of trees. To answer some of your questions about the rhinos here at the North Carolina Zoo, we're talking to Jade, the rhino and antelope supervisor here at the North Carolina Zoo. Hello. Taking care of a large crash of rhinos is always challenging. There's a bunch of different personalities we have and our babies can be trouble, but for the most part, they live out here on 40 acres and they do their own thing, so they just are a lot of fun to play with. In the wild, North Carolina Zoo works to conserve rhinos in Namibia in Southern Africa. Um, those are black rhinos and we work especially in the Atasha National Park, which is home to the largest population in the world of black rhinos. Rhino horn is used in the traditional medicine of some cultures around the world, um, but it actually doesn't have any medic medicinal use. And these horns are made out of the same stuff as your fingernails. It can be hard for some people to know what to do to conserve animals on the other side of the world, um, but your visit to the North Carolina Zoo directly supports our efforts to save species in the wild. Hey everybody, thanks for your questions and tune in again next week to the zoo's Instagram.